Directions. Consume prior to workout for optimal results. Try them on. Are these on? Yeah. Pua! <laughs> I feel like John Lennon. Can't see anybody around you? All you can see is the pump. I can't see, I can't hear. If you're not Helen Keller after a set, then you're not doing it right. Right? Maybe we have the Goku hair. Goku hair? I fuck with it. It's so much to manage, bro. Yeah, dude, the gym used to be my life in college. Yeah. Like, I would breathe, sleep, eat, gym. I would like Adderall studies. I would steal dining corn cookies and stuff them in these gigantic optimum nutrition protein containers. I would literally smuggle that in my backpack, open up, zip up my uh, backpack, and then um, in the dining court, you know, because you can get unlimited food, yeah. run back for more. I would just get plates of cookies, and then when no one's looking, slide the cookies into the jar. My first bulking season in like four years, dude. First real bulking season. Larry said yesterday, dude, are you okay getting fat with me? <laughs> there you go. There you go. What's, Here, back what's this? Oh, are you filming? <laughs> Maybe. It's nice. What are we filming? I'm gonna tell the boys my cycle. Doge. Hey. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're fucking jack, boy. No I, cause we feed you protein. Some kissed. The greatest key to fucking gains? Aspartame gave uh, cancer to rats, but if the tumor's in your balls, then it's only gonna make them look bigger. I wish I had some fucking nails so I could just hang this up right now. It's like, woo! That's awesome. Woo! -hoo, think fast, bitch. Woo! -hoo. I don't play basketball because I'm fucking short. Diet. Cutting in 1600 to 1700 calories. I know it's fucking low, but I want to see those ass variations one last time. And Coach Yoda is sending me the program. The Bulking Project Brawling Program, and I'm gonna get this in like a week. Reverse dieting now and up to 2,000 calories, thank God, because I was feeling like death in the mornings. Can thank science god Andrew Huberman and uh, Rhonda Patrick for all of the incredible research. Currently eating chicken breast, because I'm a fucking bodybuilder. Salmon, because omega-3s, EPAs, and DHAs, especially if you don't have fish oil. Getting my variety of anabolic amino acids. Asparagus for the butt striations. Literally instant dryness. Absolute dick skin shreds. Formula 12 and supercarb. Literally instant brain gains and instant performance gains. Absolutely craziness. I'm not shitting you, I slam this shit during my podcast just for the instant brain glucose. Literally like my mind just goes <laughs> Especially when I have prep brain fog from just dieting so hard. It's literally been proven in studies to improve performance, especially in endurance athletes. Especially in a deficit. This shit literally feels and tastes like sugar, but doesn't spike your blood glucose because the gastric emptying and digestion is just so freaking fast. Just so fucking fast. Special anabolic hack. Niles Anabolic Protein Nutella. One scoop of Huge's Whey or Vegan Protein and one third cup of water, dude. Stuff an anabolic protein bar in the freezer when it's as hard as Cialis. Take it out, dip it in your Nutella. Shit's literally a protein ice cream with protein Nutella. 
you guys can thank me later. It's literally straight ice cream with Nutella icing, but literally all protein instead of sugar. I swear to God, my neck girth grew a couple inches with the hack. Some sugar-free syrup, cause uh, shreds. Dark leafy greens for your magnesium, your potassium, and all the juicy micronutrients. So let's take a look at what little sis eats. Leftover Panda Express. <laughs> Rebecca, you're fucking up the diet. Oh, you should check these out too. This is Young LA's newest drop. I only got a chance to open one of them so far. So they got this new fanny pack. <gasps> I'm gonna bring this to all the events. That's literally like, that's actually the nicest quality fanny pack that I think I've ever had. So the drop's actually February 15th. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I really just fuck with the love <laughs> of the sweaters. Oh yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's sick. And I got an oversized too. I'm just waiting for the day where I fill out the double XL. <laughs> Walking to the gym, not being able to have any proper pup covers because you're too big for any sizes. That's clean. And then this is the Skyline Super Size T. Oh wait, I was wondering why it felt weird. <laughs> oh shit, I really like this one. This is an XL. It has like a very interesting like circular fit to it. Yeah, I fuck with that heavy. Dude, when it comes down to like exactly what kind of foods I eat, I just put everything in the macro wrap. Eat about like 2,000 calories right now. And it's salmon, chicken breast, avocados, rice cakes, oats at the end of the day. Sometimes some grain-free chips cooked in avocado oil because avocado oil is also extremely good for your health, your mind, and your body. Cycle. What you should be running? Probably nothing if you want to make your life any easier. But then again, what bodybuilders said that they wanted to make their life any easier. 200 test, 37.5 bar. I take 150 for TRT, and I am pretty sure I am low-key not supposed to be telling you guys this, but I got prescribed and hooked up the bar trochet from my HRT Transcend that literally melts in your mouth to bypass your liver. My liver enzymes are literally still in the 50s and 70s. Basically got this by complaining about arthralgia, which is a bunch of joint pain and stiffness that has definitely been uh, a result of a bunch of training injuries and overuse over the years that is definitely inhibiting me from performing at my... Considering that I want to compete as a professional athlete in the Olympia, I really, 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 really want to solve this issue. So clutch though, for the bulk, no idea. Literally no idea until Coach Yoda sends me the program in like a week. Never done GH, never done insulin, never done any crazy bulky compounds, never done any tests over 400. Um, really haven't been trying to touch PEDs to the best of my ability, but you can bet that I'm going to train fucking harder than I've ever trained in my fucking life. You can bet on that. The moment the judges see me, literally I'm just gonna walk on that stage, the judges are literally going to see straight at me and they're gonna be like, that's him. That's fucking Mr. Olympia right there. Perfect score, perfect score. Just like Ebanks this year. 100% perfect score. Show's over. Ah! Luckily, I've been injecting BBC 157, which is a heliopeptide spot injected right into that fiber that is tearing me apart and not letting me bench some heavy ass weight. And then I've been doing the same with TP500 which is another healing peptide. And both of these I got from my bodybuilding friendly HRT clinic, Transcend HRT. I'm doing 400 micrograms of BPC. And then I'm gonna cycle these. I'm probably gonna do them together for about one to two months on. And then I'm gonna take another about like one to two months off afterwards. Shoulder impingement happens when your humerus is riding up on your labrum, labrum, labrum. Um, and it's just fucking pinching your infraspinatus, which is that little thin piece between your labrum and your humerus and as it pinches up there your body's like no I don't want you to go up there because then you're going to destroy the labrum and then you're gonna to have to have surgery so the subclavius then pulls on the shoulder of the humerus as well as the subscapularis in order to prevent the humerus from jamming up into that labrum and infraspinatus and just rubbing it down until you need surgery and that is how you get shoulder impingement and that is why my chest is so fucking tight that I get this sharp pain, bro. This crazy sharp pain every time I'm trying to chest press. So I have these bands that Dr. Michael gave me 
to literally like move in and out like this in order to warm up my rear delts before like every single exercise I do. And it's been helping immensely. She feels good now. Little disclaimer, I do not take all of these. A lot of these are just a bunch of shit that I packed on over the course of like the last like four or five years. And my parents always have like a ton of like supplements. So something about being Filipino and like having a mindset of like being in scarcity, like you need to save everything because it's a third world country. I, I think I blame that for having this many pill bottles. First thing I do is a complete multivitamin. I like magnesium malate or magnesium l 3 n that I actually got from Huberman because l 3 n is a good cognitive support and it can help you uh, with your memory and your learning. Malate tends to be the best form of magnesium in order for you to actually um, recover from like uh, hard training sessions. It actually reduces your soreness, which is pretty surprising. If I eat like a massive carb day, say I decide to go to like the movie theater and I just pounded popcorn, bro. This thing utilized will literally help me absorb the entire fucking meal, bro. It's intense. I don't use this all the time though because there's some studies that have been showing some contradicting things with hypertrophy. All right, if any of you guys are taking gear, you need to take ancillaries or you'll fucking die. If you're taking trend, test, mass, um, Winnie, any of these above, anything like that, you need to take citrus bergamot. You gotta take citrus bergamot. Um, your cholesterol levels are gonna be right. If you're eating McDonald's, you should probably be taking citrus bergamot. You probably shouldn't be eating McDonald's but you should probably take citrus break one. It increases your good HDL cholesterol, reduces your inflammation, reduces your blood glucose, and also reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease. We don't want heart attacks. I take some cycle supports, Defense cycle support from Huge that also has, they have NAC, they have Tudka in it. And Tudka is like one of the best liver supports and liver protectants that you can take. I'm taking Vitalin, which is super good for your cardiovascular health. It has a lot of things like garlic, CoQ10, ALA, some other sources that are going to be beneficial for cholesterol. You'll also need astragalus root for your kidneys and your liver. Astragalus helps your immune system, helps regulate blood pressure, inhibits free radical production, and honestly also kind of helps me with my asthma. Ooh. If you take any gear, any gear that wrecks your cholesterol levels, which is honestly probably going to be most of them, then you're probably gonna wanna take fish oil. And even if you're not taking gear, it's probably still a good idea to take some fish oil. Like fish oil has been shown to be one of the most effective supplements out there, period, for your health, for your brain, for your cognitive function, for your mood. EPAs, probably the most important factor about them, um, has been shown at one to two grams a day to significantly improve mood um, and even reduce the need for SSRIs. So fucking like, think about Xanax. Bro, Xanax, Xanax, dude, that shit can fuck you up. And fish oil, literally just a fish oil, has been shown in studies to reduce, with just one to two grams of EPA per day, has been shown to reduce the need of SSRIs and literally, for some people, completely eliminate the need of Xanax whatsoever. Quoted by Andrew Huberman. I personally try to get at least two grams of EPA per day. Uh, Ron Patrick has actually advised about two to four grams of EPA per day. And it's important to note that this is EPA, not fish oil. So if you're taking like one to two grams of EPA per day, it's probably gonna be about like six grams of fish oil. I always refrigerate all the fish oils. All the fish oil I have, always refrigerate it because uh, I think it reduces oxidation. So that way it keeps your stuff fresh. Pump serum. Oh. Best pre-workout. I'll top pump serum with these. These are the two best flavors, I think. Sour gummy and peach candy rings. Yo Himbine, I've been using to get fucking shredded. And a rock solid boner. Helps you do this by blocking your alpha one and alpha two adrenoceptors. Digestive enzymes, so I don't sharp myself with protein farts the entire day. A good old probiotic to make sure that my gut has good microbiome. Um, plus I drink like 200 cans of diet soda throughout the day, so probably important that I take some good stuff for my gut microbiome. Ashwagandha passes me the fuck out. KM66, dude, literally the moment I take that, I like zone into this weird like zone dimension where I literally feel like I'm just about to fall asleep. It's freaking insane, dude. Uh, and the coolest part about it is if I'm feeling like a lot of crazy anxiety throughout the week, like for some reason, my cortisol is just super high. 
what KM66 does is it blocks your cortisol. It reduces the amount of cortisol in your system, which is why you don't want to take it in the mornings, but it's pretty fucking good to take at night, especially when you can't sleep. Because at night, cortisol lowers, and that's what helps you get to sleep. And then in the morning, cortisol increases. You wake up with a lot of anxiety. That shit's like, go, go, go. It's time to start your day. That's when you don't want to take KM66. But like, for example, I'll go to sleep without KM66. I'll just take magnesium uh, glycinate or magnesium threonate to go to bed. We'll not take 5-HTP or melatonin because that stuff can affect your hormones. And then if I wake up in the middle of the night and I can't go back to sleep, that's when I'll take like a small dose of KM66. That shit will immediately help me go to bed. And I tend to wake up with less heart pounding anxiety. Shit's fucking sick. If you're taking Winstrol or any other dry PDs or you just have joint problems whatsoever from training too hard, you should probably take joint support. Like this shit is a godsend. And I was using this constantly when I was taking Winstrol like several months ago. Magnesium glycinate and or threonate for cognitive function plus collagen before bed literally pass out like instantly. And this is all without the need to use melatonin too. Yeah, boys. Let me eat the rest of this. I will see you guys at Olympia. Sick. Comment, like, and subscribe. Yeah.